this is Eric, a.k.a. Justice Blinded, alongside my friend Big Z. What's up, Z? Hey, hey, it's me. It's been a long time since I've casted with Eric. I have missed it, uh, and we're here to present um, the next round of the KFTL playoffs. Eric's going to talk a little bit about this while I get the band the sorted playoffs. here. Eric's going to talk a little bit about this while... Oh, Go sorry, ahead. had to remute myself. Apologies. Uh, all right. All right, all right. I think we have the technical stuff worked out. So, yeah, so we are in the wild card round, and as I understand it, the top three players in each division advance to some version of the top cut, and the first level of the top cut are uh, the two players that are ranked two and three in each division playing against each other uh, to to determine who advances into what would that make of the top 16 Z after that? Yes. Uh, this is like a, the round of top 16 play in. It's not a full this is 32 a or whatever. 32? Yeah. It's 24 people right now. And they're playing in to make it into the top 16 and earn their spot in the top, uh, in season three. Um, Cause all the top 16 get to uh, advance. Yes, indeed. And um, so I will, uh, I will obviously, I mean, for anyone who knows me and knows the players tonight, I have a rooting interest being on, being on the team of two players we will see this evening. My, my team related hope is that this will be, uh, you know, KPL episode, whatever, seven revenge of the Kip, because these are both matches where my teammates lost initially and are going to have a chance for revenge to advance further in the tournament. That being said, um, all the players, um, in the in today's action are great players and i'm you know the broadcaster and he just wants to see some really interesting close games so so we'll this fight. is game three of this wild card kind of round yeah. and so far out of the two games that have been played as they can kind of see on screen the player that was eliminated during the regular season won the play in i mean that that bodes well for my team-based rooting interest but you know both of these both of these matchups are complicated, and they're all very good players. So, um, so we will see. Maybe I have the uh, season two wild card round results up already. You can see two of the players that have advanced so far into the mm -hmm. uh, into the top sixteen. Um, I believe that's George from Manchester Mavericks, right? GJ nine nine nine. Yeah, George is moving on to face Shaka. Uh -huh. And Rodion is moving on to face Lorenzo. Uh, the winning, uh, the winner of this current match is going to move on to face Alex from Team Sat. So he is uh, eagerly, eagerly awaiting. I don't think he actually has a, a rooting for party. He, I know he said it in our personal chat the other day that uh, is there a scenario where they both lose? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that this is, is so not... Alex plays the winner of Dave versus Ed. Yeah. Okay. So like, this is. I was like, sorry, dude. Uh, sorry, is, Alex. This is, this, yeah. This I don't... is a binary choice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, welcome, welcome, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the KPL. I guess. I mean, like KPL. Yeah. Like, I I look at a lot of these little brackets, and if I was waiting for the person coming through, there would be also the same boat. Like, I don't want to face either one of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I would. I. I mean, listen. I play. I play both of these guys a lot. Um. You know, Ed more than Dave, but I still play both of these guys a lot uh, when you know we're practicing or whatever. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, I I don't I don't particularly. Uh, I, yeah, you're we're, we're talking literally about two of the best players in keyboard, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean like, like change over time. We've had a whole lot of newcomers come on this season and really show up. Oh, for sure. Uh, um, but these are definitely two staples in this game. Like I saw Ugluk. Yeah. Uh, very early back when I was running Dexter yeah, for tournaments, and he was winning those back these then. These are the Didn't OGs. From... These are the OGs, yeah. especially the online game. I mean, like in those events, Dave was there too. There was definitely at least one event where oh, I yeah. know all three of us, including Eric, all four of the people involved in today's cast were in the online event, and yeah. we're talking about like February year one of this game. Yeah, February. What would that be? Two. And I don't know. You have to skip a year for everything. 19? I don't know. 2019? 19. 19. Yeah. I, I, time is not a construct that is relevant anymore in this universe. Yeah. So. I'm sure you can go find old challenges and find all four of oh, them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the top eight of those events. Well, I mean, um, I did say... So, I, I did... I, I From the very first time, that I think maybe even the very first cast that you and I did, I don't remember, but 
I did I did have a particular idiom that I always said, and that is never pick against Dave Cordero. Or I yep. always say Cordero. Cordero. That's his name. Cordero. Never pick against Dave, but I am uh, you know, I, I'm hesitant to do so today, but we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Let's get into the matchups a little. For those of you who have not seen the decks before, I have uh, Dave's decks up on screen currently. Uh, the leader who laughs at time, the creature that screams at dreams, and Caruso, Chef My God. de U-Boats. The... So we'll get Caruso. Do we know? So we know. All right, so we literally had this matchup last week. So we we're did. not going to go. We don't need to go through all through all the decks again. We we went through all them right. a lot last week. Yeah. So out of these three, I I do remember which one got struck. I last week which one do you think gets struck here uh i i would assume the same well i know the answer to that question because i practiced with that have the strikes been made uh they have given me the strikes yeah okay yeah so, so i'm assuming it's the guess. same i mean my understanding was it was going to be the same strike for so for what's... for ed i can't speak for dave i would guess dave would make the same strike but i don't know so so what do you say the strike is uh I, well i thought it was caruso but maybe i don't remember correctly uh I've got right here in te in my chat is I ban leader. Leader. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 That's right. I'm sorry. It's it's been a very long week and like with dark tidings well, dropping yesterday, like my mm -hmm. spatial well, kind of dropping. Kind. Of, well, right. With with it dropping on the master vault or whatever, and like all the nonsense that occurred with you know looking at all these crazy new decks. My, you know, my memory is not is not top tier. I knew he's not striking the coda deck. That much I did know for sure. <laughs> did he strike the leader last time? Am I just remembering this incorrectly? I don't believe so. I can't recall remembering the match versus U Boots. I'm pretty All sure right. he did strike Caruso, but uh, I thought that's he what I Alright, well maybe he's going for maybe right. he's going for a head feint. I don't know. I but he that. lost last time. What's that? So Yeah, I, well we'll get it we'll so. get into that when we get into the games. But I think there are All reasons right, so for that. But... Over to Dave's Yeah, deck. what did what did Dave strike? Uh oh yeah, figure over decks dave went in head and striked jason yes i mean that's yeah i think that's mm -hmm. fairly automatic not only because yeah. that's what he struck last time and he won but jason yeah. is just an abysmally scary deck like it's it's just yeah I mean, it's a great deck it's just just straight up good yeah is what it is yeah it's, it's, it's gonna just... do what it does every time it has the efficiency to make sure it does what it does every time and it's going to have to make you answer stuff that you, it's not hard to answer, but it's hard to answer every single turn the same things. So that's that's annoying. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the amount of pressure it applies is just astronomical. Yeah. So we have Vayne Prater and Sad Panda. Did they make the picks for the first, the first deck uh, We one? should be seeing Dave on Creature versus Ubluk. On Panda. Panda. Okay. I believe they are in the queue. All right. Um, well, let me that, pull, let me pull that up. Hold on. Hold you're on. obviously picking Ugluk. Um. Yeah, I'm picking him at three. I mean, I for for two different reasons. Between but I, the I two, do... I can't ever seem to beat Ugluk. I have beat him before, but when yeah. it matters, I always lose. So I'm gonna go yeah. with Ugluk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I I legitimately do think he's going to win, but I think this match is very close. I think he's going to win. We'll learn a lot. So what is um. He's Dave is playing creature, which is his coda deck, right? Yeah. All right. Well, this this game will tell me all I need to know about. Well, not all I need to know, but this game will tell me a lot because uh, this was the one that I think we focused. When I say we, I mean Ed yeah. focused the most on in practice um, and changing the way that he. We'll see if because the way he played Panda last time was probably slightly off optimal. Um, there were a lot of conversations that were had about that. I know, so we'll because see. Because again, if... like this, like Panda's Jason's deck, not Ugla. Right, and so that's like, well, that's why little, right. A few things in the cast, but like nothing huge, right? Well, actually, I mean, there were so there were more things. There were more. He played Panda like a person who is very good at the game, but has does not have five hundred reps with Panda. Would play Panda, which is fine, yeah. but like ultimately it's we'll see like he's we'll see if he plays more towards the platform uh combo which is i believe the the strat here but we'll see how that works out um, yeah, because he is creature, an amazing turn one like that's creature can answer the platform but not like guaranteed yeah yeah okay gizmo's well, pretty good answer but an answer jericho jericho into auto encoder turn one is is almost the best possible start with yeah. this deck like maybe jar is better but 
Yeah. Oh, did Dave randomize his ban? He is saying he randomizes ban. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's funny. That is interesting. I believe it. That's a Dave thing. Yeah. All right. So meanwhile, Ed's taking turn where he's just. Ooh, early mark of this. That's probably all value here. Oh, yeah. He Sometimes just he he marked and then got this to dump a whole bunch some... of cards. Yeah. So yeah. what he's doing right now is he's digging towards Nell, uh, I think, and the upgrades and platform. I think you'll see a lot of a lot more discarding this game than we did last game. That's my guess. Um, I can't call it. Like he only got. Ooh, he had one to game discard. With this he switched. He had... What'd you say? Only thing he got one game with it last time because didn't he switch? I, I, I think, think that's then? true. But but this, I think, yeah. uh, I I think, well, but the way he played the last last game is is likely to be different. So he just forced Dave into a terrible turn, which is a reap and then a discard of library access. That's about the most feels bad you can get. Yes. Yeah. So he's got Obsidian Forge down. He's got all the stuff coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, if if what Dave is, gets a key, that'll. What is Creature that Screams stuff? and Dreams? Does it have Hard R? I forget. I don't think it does, right? Gizmo is the only Hard well, R. Well, it's got the Gizmo yeah. enough that's in play. And that's so he's going He's going all in to stop. Oh, yeah. He's going all in to stop Dave from getting the key. He's never getting the key. So Dave <laughs> would probably want to be bursting here and untamed to get to a key to neutralize this board state, if at all possible. Yeah, he needs to forge as fast as he can. Yeah. And which we, we did talk about in both, like uh, in our cast before, is good as Panda is, if it has a weakness, it is definitely the A. So like, oh yeah, it's, yeah. If you burst hard enough, you're gonna forge it's, your. It's key. a control, like it's, like it's a control deck. It suffocates you into nothingness. But if you get there before it can set up the the mechanisms, or if you have something offbeat like Strange Gizmo, which is like a a board wipe for artifacts too, then that can shift the balance. But Dave just playing two cards here. What can he play next to the... He might be setting up on Tame Turn. Like, he could have, like, a Hunting Witch, I guess, he throws next to the Shadow Self. But again, like, it, once he forges a key, like, the board disappears. So yeah. Shadow Self is not likely to have a lot of utility with Gizmo on board. True. Uh, chat is saying that they cannot see Ugluk's uh, bottom row. They oh. Can't see his oh, I'm sorry. I apologize, chat. There we go. I forgot to click the overlay button. Thank you, chat. There we go. There we that go. should be updated. There we go. All right, well, there we go. We got our pretty features there too. Yeah, got some sorry. discarding a uh, reverse time makes a lot of sense there. A lot of people play that at a very bad time. We're right. He and he. I think he did that before. <laughs> that was one of the major problems in game one. He reverse timed away from the platform his, Nell his combos. Tools? Yeah. So like, so that's so that was one of the the points of focus in the practice to not do that because even though Panda Panda is tricky because Panda has so many good cards that yeah. it's tempting just to just to play normal keyforge and while that does work sometimes it's not usually the optimal line of play okay so here's the burst from dave sure this is yep val pixie so the, now that. here's the one thing i will say is by bouncing val the downside to bouncing val is that you have created a situation where after gizmo goes off you're gonna let ed play val again Right, so like yeah. Ed, unless he has some crazy amber control you know, that I don't think uh, that's true. He has. I'm not. I don't. I would not have bounced Val. I don't think I would have done that. And for, it's for that reason. Like I would want Val dead. And what you're doing right now is you're giving him a Star Alliance turn after the board explodes. Like he should just generate as much amber as possible this turn. Yeah, because he's not getting Val back unless he cycles the deck. Right. That's exactly. So like that's why time. I think that like, was a mistake. Um, like, and it could Dave be a very... able to answer Val when it came down last matchup. And then it just never came back. So yeah, no, I mean, over. it could it could be, that could be a game-altering mistake, I think. Um, Playing more artifacts, right? Yeah, I, well, Essence Scale, I guess it's just for the, the pip. But if you're going if you're going into Dis, you might as I don't think, I don't have a problem with that. You might as well do that. Um, so he goes to check, and then, then Dave's board explodes. And now, I, I, unless something very strange is happening, you might see... Uh, depending upon if platform is an archive or in hand, you might see Ed just like play Jericho, play platform, and like one other thing, and then the following turn pull archive. And yeah, oh, we, oh, platform, platform is probably an archive. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
We'll see if he tries to do, if he does all the Nell stuff. He probably, right now, he probably will since he um, pulled Archive. It's it, it's less optimal to, like, play platform and gamble for another turn. So I would expect to see a very long turn here. I don't think he'll just play platform and Jericho. But this is, this is particularly rough because now if he goes into the assuming that the combo pieces aren't in the last three cards of deck if he goes into a combo sequence here he's going to have a shot to play one free card out of house which could be something like like if he cycles back into infernus like dave has a pixie and nature's I was call say jar if he has jar in hand that is oh yep there you go yeah. So he plays Jar for TMTP, and now he's going to go hog wild, basically. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we would expect Dave at this point to have a good Shadows hand. Um, yeah. But Jar, this turn, can just lock that up completely. Good. I okay. no longer care what's in your hand. Yeah, I'm yeah. Well, go yeah, it would hand. stop. It would stop. He could still use the routine jobs, but not the TMTP. Yeah, I mean, that's a steal three. He only has two. Yeah. All right. So here's yeah. Here's the crazy turn we expected. So we did use Jar instead of like an Infernus hit, but he can always mm -hmm. Infernus like the following turn if he wants to. Um, also, he may not have redrawn it yet. So, but I think I think Jar is totally fine. So he plays platform and passes. So if Dave doesn't have a way to get rid of Jericho right yeah, right now, right there. like huh. right now, does not have a way to get rid of Jericho, this game is probably over. Unless he has remote access, right? Uh, well, that's true. I guess, okay, all right, that's fair. So he can do that. So that is... Because he's so, Logos now. There's the remote access. Yeah, that is a stalling mechanism. That That is effective. Um, but now Ed probably is a handful of uh, non... <laughs> non it's not going to be a logo. It's going to be disc. He should have a lot of disc. I would a lot think of Logos so. in the discard pile Um, prior to the flip. Yeah. So I think the auto encoder was hitting most of this other than like the four cards we saw. Although if he re so like here's the thing, if he redrew, we are almost at the point in the game we're playing auto encoders and do anything, but okay, so he's going to go into disc. He, mm -hmm. If he can I'm expecting four he, or five cards. Yeah, if if he could cheat auto encoder into play, <laughs> what does Dave have in the way of removal for this Jericho right now? That was the problem before. That's the thing, like the finishing blow, kills it. he's finishing gotta like blow. somehow can only combo with like you'd have to play a speed sigil run into it uh there is a creature behind these cards sorry i think it's a it's an umbra yeah it's, it's an umbra. umbra i can't if the i zoom is, out anymore it, the cards will be illegible well, and it's elusive right now so he, yeah he would have to land speed sigil run into it to break elusive and then umbra in it to it and then finishing blow that yeah. is the only scenario it yeah is i think that's there. probably all he's got out of hand um, if like that's uh, all he could he has, have out of He me. only has one nature's call. So but but he already purge. oh he just did he just re oh no it's purge nature's call's purge it just got purged. It, well he just purged with ducks pix yeah there's the infernus hit on the nature's call and dust pixie yeah. But even if you answer Val right now, I think you're chasing pretty hard. Oh no, you're yeah no this this game like if there was an eval bar in this game it would be way down this way towards the bottom at mm -hmm. the moment. And we saw one. So he reverse timed into I don't remember what was in his discard pile. I think it was it was two Star Alliance cards and a in a discard, but I don't remember what the cards were. Ed says I can't see your creature. It's Umbra oh, Ed. I'll let them <laughs> <laughs> work that out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like I said, this is the one downside of, of Jericho Tron is that you can't hear all this mouse over this so you can see it on the screen, but there. That's an umbra hey, under there. It. He's played exactly five discards. Oh, he's afraid he won't be able to target if the zoom out so small that oh that's funny. Well, we'll figure it out if you can't target it. Do you, do you what is he for mark? Whale of the dam to kill it. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah. But they're just gonna go into manual to remove it from play. Uh and then you know, there you go. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, and now now that crazy Shadows line doesn't even exist. So if we read the deck correctly, Dave has literal no ways to kill Jericho this turn, mm -hmm. which means now the game is almost certainly over. Because next turn, yeah. Ed is going to draw, like, a hundred cards. Yep. Here comes Star Alliance. Yep. 
Hmm. Yeah, survey. Sure. Survey just to bin the top card of deck, and now we're going to go back. Well, he also gets it in the discards when he starts to draw. Oh, oh, well, that's actually, that would normally be an amazing hit off Mindfire, but Dave is not allowed to play that card, so that's actually a slightly sad hit off Mindfire. Yep. Still get the steal, though. I don't, yeah, I don't think it'll matter, but, um, oh, we fought Snuffle Gator. Okay, he's trying to protect Val, I think. He's also going to re, he's going to recycle Val, so Val gets all of the, um, the, the Val is now protected from the, the Shadows, yep. uh, Speed Sigil line. Yeah, this game. And you have all that, uh, <laughs> that's why I played Surrey, because you got to redraw. Yeah. This game is locked down, for sure. Yeah. And this is the difference, right? Obviously, he drew a little bit better this game than he did game the first mm -hmm. time they played. But like this, yeah, is, yeah. Good. yeah, and he could see game him. is over. All right, game over. Um, and now we will see if Dave stays on creature or not. Yep. Uh, Ooglet declares he will mate. Okay. Um, yep. are they gonna link? Uh, I just wait in the open ones, but sometimes they link it from the chat. Alright, let's see. Let's see. I assume they're not going to do something silly like created in beginner to troll me and to try to find the game. Oh, wow, he did. He made it in freaking casual. Oh, he did? Oh, oh my that's, God. that's Ed, 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 is, Ed is a bit of a sense of humor. Come on, man. Casual. Okay. Ed with a low-key troll. Yep. All right. Did they decide who's going first? Is that him or hmm? I, I guess think Dave thinking, is thinking, thinking about it. He is contemplating the nature of the universe currently. Yes, yes. The age old. Is it better to go first? Or still think it's better in most decks to go second but there yeah, are no, like that's true well so if uh like we did the stats on it a long time ago however there does do seem to be like 0.001 percent of decks better so what is ed going to be playing ed's going to be playing uh praetor uh, uh yes oh it's ghost form eddie versus it's potentially a five eddie mashup uh, that's, that's gonna be i'm fun. sorry i'm sorry an eight an eight eddie matchup yeah. Ed can go first. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, we're good. Is this going so, to be U boats? Yes, this is the eight Eddie matchup. Eddie on 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 so Eddie. Eddie. Dave I think did that's switch. enough violence. All right. Didn't work the first time. Oh, For the God. love of everything, TCO, please allow us. To yes, please, please, in, please. Uh,. We're not the only people to do this. Pretty please. <laughs> it's, it's This has to be done in ABR. Has to be done in code. code. Yeah. Well, anytime uh, you... Yeah. Any best of three match, basically. Yeah. All right. We good? Uh, no. Nope. Just kidding. I've seen this go to eight attempts before. So yeah, I've been part of some of those. It's uh... <laughs> Chat is. Chat is creative solutions. We appreciate creative solutions. Uh, yeah, I think Dave is saying his record is not for the number. Nine uh, for I the number I, of resets. I think I, I think I did see that. I think we were casting that game. <laughs> All right. Well, we're up to what four now? This is this. Yeah. Is four. We're about to be on number. Four. Maybe so they should stop is... making it in casual. Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, it's all because it's casual. I, well, listen, man. It's as good no, a no, reason I'm as that. I don't it's have a better reason. It was casual. <laughs> it would have been perfectly fine. It would have been competitive. Because it knows. It does. 
It does. All right, did we win? No, we're up to five now, right? This is five. Yeah. We're going for nine. Yeah. Nine is the nine is the world record. Do we have? Do I hear six? Do I hear six? Hey, baby. Because it's more fun this way, Zermis. It's more fun. Why do they not know this? No one knows this. Hey, we got it. All right. Yay. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. And let me get Ed Win here. Here we go. Boop. All right. Let's game go. two. If you're joining us now, look look is obviously up one game, as you can see. Uh, Dave played Creature, his Codedeck game one, decided to switch to the famous uh, U-Boots Caruso, his World's Collide deck, versus the Ghost Eddie deck, Vane Crater. This is a, a total, this is an 8 Eddie matchup. Yes. So what does Dave, what can, let's look at this. So the the, obvi, the big threat in Praetor is a We're going to look at it both ways. What can either person do? It's just what, well, very so what, interesting. What, well, so right. So what can you do about a ghost form Eddie? Ragnarok actually could do it. No, no one actually can. No, do it, it can't be destroyed. It can't be destroyed. It has so to be double, Hysteria, it has to be to, double bound. He could, he could cycle out his deck so he could play Hysteria twice before Ed has a chance to ward it. That's what he could basically do. Um, that's that's it, I think. Like that's I, I yeah. think double I mean, hysteria I think if is he it. He ends up getting hysteria in his archive or hand. He has to hold it. Yeah. Because I don't think he can ward Eddie on the turn he plays Ghost. Um. Because right? I think we've talked about this. I think that's correct. No, I'm he, trying to remember. It's been cannot, a while since I've analyzed. He cannot Prater. ward Eddie. Yeah. On the turn he plays yeah. Ghost Form. Well, I mean, obviously, so if he sees Dave, hysteria, that's Dave, a, you've got to kind of hold it. Dave also has Born Its Touch, so he could get lucky and hit Ghost. Yes, Form. there is always the Born Its Touch luck box factor. Is a card that is incredibly effective. Eric and I have uh, similar aspects of luck in Keyforge. If it's a random similar? discard, it... we have we have similar <laughs> aspects of luck in Keyforge. It, it listen, like well, hear me through. I, I've okay. determined that if it is a random discard from my hand, it will auto lose me the game. Period. It just happens. Okay. And your luck is if their deck, your opponent's deck, has a chance to high roll at all. Well, at my all. luck, like my a... luck is is essentially well. Listen, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to be a new player. I'm trying to not new, but I'm trying to I'm trying to not view everything. Okay. When you view everything uh, as unlucky, you don't you don't progress as far in your this, this devel is... development as a player. However, I have had a couple notable high profile low rolls. Let's just no, I'm say about, I'm more talking about the high roll of the other. Players. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I mean. Like, it's, it's, I high roll against you. Consider that happen. synonymous. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've already got three Eddies on the board. You yeah, do. Well, we know this is going to happen. This is more about what happens when we see Auto Shark. What happens when we see the opposing Eddie, and then the real game begin. So, what can he do? So, um, so Ghost Form Eddie. So, the answer that Ed could do if he's able to land Ghost Form Eddie, if he puts General Order Twenty Four on the board. And can kill all of Dave's Logos creatures every turn. Every I, turn. I yeah, think that would be a highly thing. effective answer. Like, that would be yeah. a highly effective answer. But that's, but that's a lot of that's, pieces. That's, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, as long as I think Dave understands that if he sees Hysteria and just holds it, I don't think so can lose yeah. as soon as you discard the Ghost, right? Like, not against this deck. Yeah. All right. I there's there's been a request, a previous request, not in chat, but from from people in chat to uh, keep our commentary interesting enough so certain people don't fall asleep. So I won't name any names, but hopefully we're oh. animated enough for you so far, chat. All right. All right. I do like the story in line here. I have seen games where Caruso gets rushed hard enough, fast yeah. enough, yeah, that it can't do its thing. Its well, thing is really good, and it comes out really fast, but if it never happens, yeah. it just doesn't happen. Well, and also, if it baits out Hysteria now, right? If if he 
if it beats out Hysteria, if Dave has mm. to play Hysteria to deal with this board state, and then, and then Ed gets, um, yeah, you know, some other stuff gets the combo down. Yeah, double double Exumetti, casual, casual triple Exumetti, casual, casual yep. triple Exumetti. Yeah, why not? And like that's this is what I talk about. Like Caruso doing his thing real fast. It's going to keep doing this because it keeps doing it out of both the logos and the disc turns. Yeah. Yeah. His deck, is, his deck is getting thinner with every play of these cards. And at some point, you have to assume Hysteria is so, already online. So, the, the, but this is interesting. So this play with Sorian, like Shattered Throne, becomes a pretty big detriment for Dave with this line being taken by Ed. That's true. Like, I was surprised to see it played. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know never, that I would have played that here. I've seen him play this deck a lot. I've played against him a lot. I've seen it played exactly two times. This is one of them. Yeah. I I think... Well, I mean, he obviously... Well, not obviously, but I'm guessing he didn't anticipate this particular line by Ed. Or, you know, Ed has to have these cards in order to take this line, so... All right. He is going to get a key here, though, right? That's not that, like, significant, but... Well, I don't, we don't know that yet. He just, he just pulled Igor... And we don't know if he pulled another Eddie. <laughs> Ten damage to reassemble. That's he did cool. not. Okay, so Ed gets key one. Yep. It is also important to note that Caruso did key a lot faster than it normally does. It normally does not like actually. Yeah, it got there just first. in time for key one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it typically grinds a little bit to get to its keys after yeah. it sets up its state. Uh, so yeah it really depends on what ed has in hand here um yeah i think yeah i think i think pushing. you just go you go back into sorry and you force dave to you play see, hysteria he at played some all three exhumes so you know every time he goes into disc now until he cycles the archiving is not coming back online he only has two eddies left in deck yeah so you have a window this could be key too Yeah. Yeah. This how many is, eddies? Uh, how many eddies are in discard? Uh, three. three. So there, are, there are two more eddies, right? So Dave could easily have redrawn eddies, or he could have one in just in in. Yeah, but you're getting to the point where he's gonna start getting enough amber. That might like the two might not be enough. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Because <laughs> like, can you afford to play both of them right now with your draw pile still at six? I don't think the answer is yes. So if he does have another one in hand right now, well, I mean, I if he doesn't he play, play another one, he's giving he's giving out a key, a second key, which is rough. Well, no, he's at twelve. He, oh he no, he isn't now because he played. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, if even if he has the second one in hand, uh, the the final Eddie in hand, you can't play it right. Now. The window gets too big. Yeah. I mean, if he because this is this he is has an axiom, Eddie. right? If he has act, did he already play axiom? Did I miss that he did? Okay. I don't know if it was late. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It's this just saying, all right, I'm just going to hang out here. That probably forces Dave back into the logos to play yeah. the other Eddie. And that should be game. We'll see. I'm not sure about that, but. Because this um, can't be a good. I think, I think he, might have, he might have to play Hysteria now. And hope that he redraws it on the shuffle. Yeah. Hysteria... Hysteria oh, is obviously precision. good for him, but it has the effect of burning it out. I mean, like, if this, but this is pretty much a point where you kind of have to play it if you have it, I think. It it's basically it, checks him, but it also double checks Ugly. Uh, yes, that is a problem. But, I mean, I don't know that you have a ton of other... Because if, like, you want to... If you could cycle four discards out of your hand, or five... I don't know how many discards he has in his hand, but, like, you want to... You need to get back into your reshuffle yeah it's yeah we gotta assume he no, no, based no. on the draws he had he probably has one eb2 robinar in hand yeah we Gra expect the other eddie to be there yeah granger granger in chat just so you know uh, dave's deck has five eddies so he has two more eddies left actually is what but there have been four eddies played so there yeah, is, he's he's only, one yeah, more eddie we, left we're, talking about, we're down to one and i am believing that it is actually and based on the way he paused the previous turn. Yeah. I would assume, I would assume he, well, I mean, odds are that he has access to it. So he plays Harbinger. That's real interesting. And he, okay, purges. So now he's going to what? He's going to fight? 
he's fighting he must into not, he, he must not have a stereo because i i don't well I don't or well or he's going hard into the strat of um he's going uh, hard into the strat of needing to hold hysteria for ghost form eddie I, I think I, I agree that that's what we talked about. That he might actually be doing that, but I don't think I don't think that's correct. That, that's that's no longer doing. an out. Yeah, like no, I agree. I don't think that's, that's correct. That that's what he's doing. But it's but there are four cards of deck, or there could be another situation where he has it in archives, and if he pulls archives, yeah, to play his area, then he's and not. Then he gonna, won't draw his right. He yeah. won't get back into the redraw, and he's already Ooh, used. I hope zooms. he wouldn't have archived his area. Yeah, ouch, that would have been. Rough. Well, there was a turn where, in order to play out his hand, he had to archive. When he played, he played Everything. three eddies on a turn. Yeah, he had to archive yeah, his did. entire hand. So that's very possible. He could have had a stereo there, or that it was that it's, he still isn't drawn it. Right? I mean, that would also be dead. Sure. Uh, this is key too, and yeah, yeah. This is this is not looking good for Dave. And his draw did not flip. No. Um, he got four cards, but no more. So that is a that is a thing. Yeah, I I think he forced. So next turn, next turn he can if he has one more Eddie left. Next turn he can theoretically stall, right, and uh, and then stall Draw into a into reshuffle, a reshuffle of deck. But that's not nothing. That's true. Just a quick shout I mean, out to the. I think this turn is one hundred percent right, though. You just go in and you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You force, force the issue. You force you the know issue. No, he's going in. You ha He has to go into logo, so I probably do kill this daughter. Nope, but he doesn't. I would. Oh, I would. I would have considered killing. Um. He wouldn't have gone in to check that way, though. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, not not daughter. I wouldn't have killed daughter. I would have considered killing Lilithal, um, to eliminate the utility of a hysteria turn, but. Yeah, that doesn't actually doesn't matter. So we get he gets born its touch and he has a plethora of juicy options, including either Eddie or Knowledge's power. Born its touch actually shuffles into into deck, not into top or bottom of deck. So mm -hmm. okay, so that doesn't affect redraw possibilities. He purges one of the Eddies, which you know Ed is three of them. So it's not as right. He re this many, is that's right, so this by the important. way how many that is how many cards did that you is another through? reason why I would have killed. Lilithal. He drew one card. That is. I would have killed Lilithal to prevent that line from being a possible turn because it wouldn't have taken him off check. So that's why I would have. Because yeah. killing Lilithal would you would have also been on check. So you would have been on check because Lilithal had one amber on him. So you would have got it back. Um, True. But uh, you know, but this is still oppressive. This is still an oppressive strat. I think the plan here is like because this is where you can, if you just keep killing the Eddies, you're going to forge one key at a super high amber. It's really hard to do that more than once. But he's already in the right. Position. He only needs to do it once now, right? So yeah, you can just keep doing this line and forge shark. One time. Okay, shark is interesting, right? So shark he's he can value. shark out the board basically here. Yes, because at this point I think he is in a scenario where all oh, but he has Eddies in there. He normally doesn't. He's... Oh, he could shark out the board if he doesn't flip a Logos card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's flipping he in zooms, so you don't. He got pretty lucky here. Oh, he, and he did flipped have one of the Eddies. Eddies okay. There. Yeah, that that's that's a very lucky sequence of events. But now Ed presumably has you know cards in hand that he hasn't been playing for the last like five minutes. So. Chose Chose universe, Chan. Universe. Chan. He's probably going to give up a key here. I would imagine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But he, the key two doesn't really matter that much. But that was a I mean, that was a pretty big swing. Also, not killing Neutron Shark means that Dave gets to do this again. Yep. So he's playing Vapors. Now, the other thing he's got to be concerned about, I don't know what is left in deck, but by playing Vapors, you're decreasing the size of your draw pile to four. I guess you only need two, so it doesn't really matter. But Yeah. Yeah, this this is this is a big swing. Yeah, there has to be a turn where he can keep off Big Amber and kill all of the Eddies. Uh, oh, he hit Igor. Okay, live. so so it stops. Chan, I don't think Chan is going to be super relevant right now, but 
So he's now, assuming Ed actually has, you know, Logos cards in this deck, he should maybe <laughs> play some of them. We haven't seen any Logos cards at all this game. Um, we would have to Oh, see no, Tumble. that's it. That's it. All right, well, there you go. Yeah. Well, there you go. So he did not have enough answers in hand. He kind of went all in on the Saurian Strat. It looked like it was going to win for a while there, but... Um, but them's the breaks. I will say that in the, testing... Ugluk the wants to go second. Yeah, I will say in testing, the general philosophy was that Ed was going to have to beat Dave's uh, Coda deck twice. So we are on track for that to possibly happen. So this is this is the match. Back to Coda sure. versus Ghost Formula. Out of, out of Dave's line, I think the Coda deck is... like every, I mean, Triad's about your weakest deck. Saying someone has their a weakest deck is not saying that that's a bad deck. No, it's right? definitely not bad. I mean, like these <laughs> are close. Got, these are close like... matches. But keep in mind that like this is Prater and Ed. I mean, Ed. Ed did fine. I'm not saying Ed made errors, but when you're thinking about how fortunate both people were, like Ed didn't play an Eddie the entire game, like yeah. not one, and he only drew like 15 cards the entire. game. And, I, and I'm not and saying any of those decisions were wrong. Due to freaking Bornet's touch, right? I'm not, well, he got one Eddie, but like I'm not, I'm not saying that that's that that was a wrong play. I'm just saying you're going to see a completely different iteration, I think, in this game of what Prater does. Well, as far as answers, there is one in Nature's Call. So uh, he would have to yeah. So, but he has a seed, so we could Nature's Call seed if there's a ward. If it's warded, right? You'd have to nature's call seed, nature's mm -hmm. call. What is so the same scenario? Win? Like, or just hold nature's call until you see it land, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Red alert. That's a soup. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Alert, red alert. alert. God. Ed used red Ooh. alert. It was highly effective. Yes. Such a weird card. Does nothing most of the time. Occasionally it just wrecks somebody. <laughs> right. Occasionally it just is a one-sided board wipe. Yeah. I remember when it first came along. I played into it so many times, lost so many games, and then uh -huh. I had to, you know, pay attention a little bit more. <laughs> so Speed Sigil is online here. Um, Interesting. That do... Playing sigil, Speed Sigil into Kirby. Worlds Collide, Yeah, right? into like, Kirby. Is... I mean... We tell people all the time not to do this. <laughs> so yeah. let's see what happens. All right, so two Eddies, two Edies are on board. One of them is taunted. We have not seen on the other side. Of... You have Kirby and Gray. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, like now, I think Dave is just trying to burst here, but there's not a ton in his deck. Maybe a Dew Fairy. Like I'm trying to think of the great value he gets out of Speed Sigil. When even here he plays Archivist, the maybe Furnace. like it's not. Yeah. So we got he got Dew Fairy. Oh no, he used Bear. Just yeah, because he wanted to okay. answer to Eddie. That's interesting. Well, it's that I, that makes sense, because another way to answer the Praetor is just kill the Eddies. Yeah, kill the Eddies before they can go swim. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. I, I don't, I don't like, despise that. He plays Chota, loses an Amber anyway, says, I don't care, I need bodies. So that's a Chota oh. back there for, for chat. You got this Ultron stuff already. Quadricorder is pretty live. Nat I'm, I'm sure Nature's Call is going to take care of the Ultron, but like right now, that's a pretty good card. Here's other Eddie. Okay. <laughs> Trader for... Do we see the Ghost Form this turn? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Nope, I don't think We're, so. Well, he, yeah, he's going to reap, so he reaps. He should... He, if, oh, no, we didn't see it yet. So he doesn't have it. He has, doesn't have it yet. It's about halfway through deck. So if he can answer both Eddies this turn, that would be... Yeah, really I don't know how he do. does that, though. How do you do that? I don't think so. Because Nature's well, Call isn't really an answer. Well, he's in Shadow. He's in Logos, right? Logos. Yeah, anyway. he, already, he cannot there's do not, it in Logos. Yeah. Like, Gizmo is interesting, but there's not really a lot of other um, answers. Dave uh, banned... Jay Philippe is asking. Uh, Dave banned Jason. Which is yeah. weird because Jason. Jason is the name of a person. On yeah, team, it was but... messing me up. All <laughs> God dang it's it. a who's on. I always wanted to do a who's on first skit. Like, what deck is Ed playing? Jason. No, I'm not asking what Jason is playing. What the deck is Ed it playing? Got me. He's it playing definitely Jason. got me last week. Like, <laughs> at some point, I, I'm pretty sure I called him like Jason's. Like, no, I know it's not. That was one Jason. of the. That was one of the more entertaining he's... aspects when Ed found and acquired that deck. That was. Uh, that was. Like, I yeah, was like, that, oh like... boy, commentary hilarity. All yeah, right, and then to further it. Uglik was playing Jason's deck. 
Which yes. is yes. Ed Ed is playing like, Jason's it. deck and Jason, which is not Jason's deck, it's in fact Ed's deck. So you yeah. know make sure you get Very the Venn nice. diagram when you're calculating what's happening here. Ed just took a an okay logos turn, still doesn't have ghost form, presumably. Uh and now uh Dave huh. presumably the Neurosiphon drew... stole Drew, but Drew Library actually. It drew LA, about... yeah, we're assuming that's what that's, happened. We've all been there. We hate the I mean that's not like it's that's not the worst, right? Like it's not the worst. It's, but... It'd be bad if it drew it like off of the last card in the turn, but that uh, yep, finishing blow. Okay, so we've one Eddie down, and there's already been one killed, right? So we're down. Two this Eddies is the down. last Eddie. Yep. Yeah. Two Eddies. Two Eddies are dead. Wormholes into Life Web. Okay. Doesn't hit, but still value. Archaeologist. Arche oh, it's live too. Yeah. So he what he's is gonna there? Wanna... That's a pretty good sigil target. That's the, well, that that's what I was saying earlier. I think that's the one major thing you can do. So what is he gonna want to archive? Um, maybe just finishing blow, job, probably. Miasma. Oh, uh, finishing blow because he has so little C. Yeah, I would think finishing blow. Does he have a way to deal damage out of shadows behind taunt? Not really, uh, right? Not behind taunt, but he no. does have you no know, the sigil. So then maybe that's not actually super. I mean, he might just want a wormhole then. Mm, but it's not that, that valuable now that Ellie is gone. Right, but I'm saying, like, if he has to go into Logos, Wormhole is like a... If he hasn't drawn the card yet. Yeah. He, wormhole is a... I have a, you know, 20% chance of hitting what I need. He does. He takes he routine does job. Okay, yeah. Job. There weren't a lot of great targets there for him. Oh. All right, so he, Ed really <laughs> would like to have Ghost Form now. But he doesn't. Check check at eleven. I definitely let him forge at eleven. Like uh, I I don't know. Do it well, it depends, right? I think because you want this game to go long if you're Ed once you because once you set up Eddie goes form, like you can't really. Uh, yes, Jay Philippe, uh, Jason is the alien nonsense. Um, you can, once you set up Eddie goes form, you can't really answer it if you're Dave. I don't think. I mean, without without a lot of predictability, like you'd have to see seed come down within the next turn. Nature's call seed, maybe, like maybe, but I think I think it's worth taking him off check. There's the ward. Okay, so ward. So he's now double taunted and warded. And We're now one card away from this basically being. Yeah. So now we just need <laughs> like he still doesn't have ghost form, or he's been playing the long game. Yeah. I mean, I guess if he got seed down here and then draws call leader, he could answer it. Uh, if, oh, he did. Draw, but he if, draws what? We, draws. So if we see. If we don't see Nature's Call this turn, he, there is a way to answer. Well, he oh, plays he Nature's it. Call. No, yeah, like that's. Oh, I, okay. Well, I was going to say he doesn't need to do it on the same. The same turn would guarantee the hit, but now he's just going to. So we so and Ed doesn't have any ability to interact with artifacts, right? Ed there does was, a what? There was no no yeah, artifact control. No artifact control, so we can't like get rid of seed. There is no dongle on the tack officer. Dongle? No, there's no there's no cloaking dongle. No. And he, he doesn't, doesn't return Eddie. Eddie. What do you? Do? Oh. oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. That's why. That's why. Oh. Gonna... That was well played. Good job. That was... Oh, and he forges a key. So, ooh, if, oof. Well, this that game, really this game went from. If, uh, watch, I bet you later we'll find out that Ed just drew Ghost Form. I bet you that's what we'll find out. If you're if you're watching this in recorded mode, you need to just go back and watch that turn. Basically, that was very heads up. Yeah. Assault is a thing. Yeah. And that's the speed sigil part of this. Like, that's something we talked about. Like, we didn't think it was that valuable in this match. And I would have said every time speed sigil was probably a bad play. Well, I, I'm still but, not sure. But there's I'm... no way that would have happened without playing speed sigil. Well, no, because he didn't... He, this Wait, the speed sigil... Oh, we just because he just played Ancient he, Yeah, he uh... regrowed the bear. Yeah, he regrowed oh, the bear. Oh, I see what he did. Uh, Nature's okay. called the other stuff, yeah. threw bear into the end yeah, and yeah, killed yeah. it. Where it's... I would have Stealth never assumed mode, he one turn. This, kill him this that is turn. such feels bad. Stealth mode one turn too late. Yep. Well, now we just got a hard cycle deck to hopefully get back to the eddies. 
Like that's what he's he's got to. Yeah, right now all three Eddies are. But the problem is like he's like he has to kill Choda, I think, because Uh, you could use Seed on Choda, but like you can you also use Seed on Nature's Call, which is worse for him. You want him to have to use the Seed on on Choda. So you you have to kill Choda here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna say he can kill anything he wants here. With the Chan into the tree. Right. Kill, kill, please kill Chota. Okay. One more time, please kill Chota. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess well, I will say this. Hey, hey it, look, your teammate wants to kill Chota. Right, it ma- <laughs> I will say this. It This line, it now matters less if you kill Chota. Like, I don't hate it as much because the other untamed cards are in the discard pile. So we can't, like, get egregious, like, value if he has Hunting Witch. Because the other untamed creatures are in the pile, but I I probably Isn't he playing still... into TMTP right now. I like mean, that's a thing, it's right? It's going to eight. It's not that terrible. But I would, uh... but like, but given that he had a better, like, a different other option of killing Shota, I would have absolutely killed Shota for sure, for sure. Because you he, you can't eliminate him using seed, but you want him because remember his deck's about to shuffle, so you want him to like his window for using key cheaty seed options to yeah. close. But I still expect this to be like TMTP routine job, routine job, and then maybe routine job again. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's well, right. Especially since the draw pile is now about to reshuffle. So like you would expect that even more. Like I would a hundred percent expect that line. Um, oh no, wait, he played, wait, he played stealth mode. Oh, he we did. We forgot Very about this. Real. This all happened in the This was just chat. a freaking long ass turn. This, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this is a, sorry. Thanks for reminding us, Chad. That was that happened five minutes ago. Um, <laughs> not really, but okay. So we played self mode. So Dave can't do TMTP or oh. okay. So that actually was a much better turn than I thought it was. It still was a fine turn either way, but like then it eliminates. Then killing Choda is actually not necessary. Because he can't see for call here. Oh, Gizmo. Uh oh. Uh oh. What does he have in the way of Amber Control? Um, I don't think he's going to get the check in. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he doesn't get the check, so he's okay. Is, it, is this probably just another Star Alliance turn? I Should would hope so. You? I mean, I, it's hard to argue anytime you can. Read, read for four, archive read one. For, read for five, archive yeah. one. You can, yeah, it's a little hard. So we'll see. True, any star alliance, definitely a gold. Yeah, even if he didn't though, he's got. Yeah, uh, oh no, he, he killed didn't. Kirby. Yeah. He doesn't have Kirby hits, but he can archive. He could use Pompidus. Like, I don't know how you can make any case for any. Well, okay, let me back up. I'm gonna make a case that when I just said I don't know how. The case for doing something other than star alliance, if you didn't draw any star alliance, is you might need to cycle back into an eddy in order to win this game, and that requires you to play cards out of your hand, right? So there's there's yeah. a small possibility that I still don't know if that's better than... I don't think that's better than hitting five stuff here. Uh, we have also not seen City State, so there is actually a scenario where we see I capture all your Amber right Uh Yeah, but I mean, I, so that, that's, that's a stall. That's like a one-turn stall. But I would um No, what I'm saying is if you capture all six of these amber, like that might be Gizmo never fire. Oh, well yes. That would yeah, that would that would be great. Dave because doesn't have Tribune much in Pompidus the way of... on field, like Hold on a that's second. Plus, plus two all the way. Alright, he'll be back. We are seeing the stall, so I think he probably does have City State in hand. And is debating between the capture all his stuff or big star lance turn. And now we're gonna see the big star lance turn. This is most likely just reap five, archive one. Um Ray is going to pocket a card. Debating. He's Tricks. gonna put Strix in the archive. Great place to be. Um now there is the debate whether he kills Chota or not. Um, he does have two heroes. He spent one of them. So yeah, he didn't. He didn't cycle deck. So now, 
now I would expect a Shadow's turn. I would guess. Yes. Because although even... although if he has a way, if he has a way to get to check in, in Untamed, it probably wouldn't be abysmal to like pip pip whatever reap yeah. choda like play choda just to like almost board wipe ed but it shadows is pretty good shadows. gets gar <laughs> gets a, gets gar that doesn't do anything hmm. he's totally fine with that i'm sure i mean dave's dex but so tmtp for one okay now we're going to now we get the routine jobs we know he has the second one he played the second one, or the first one already, yes. I think. Yeah, they're both in discard. He could see for a routine job. I don't know that he wants to do that, but he definitely could. Steal two more? It's probably a decent play, because Ed's going to need some sort of crazy... With the speed sigils and the amber burst that we've seen him do before, I'm betting he is probably going to be saving the seed for the regrowth. No, he's, no he, hits, he, he, he hits again. He, he did hits. seed. Wow. That's what I figured would happen. So now Ed's gonna need. Uh, oh, wait, did he? Wait, he's going to Logos. He doesn't have Eddie. Hmm. So what is he? he can't have Eddie's because they're all in this card. What would Vane Prater want to go to Logos right now for? Cutthroat. Okay. All right. Yeah. Value there. Hapsis. Okay. Does he but have the problem? Kip? Is like, Kip? like this Does is he... I. Ugh. I want him to play the Kip card so bad right now in game five. Yeah. I mean, the, the downside to this is if you did this last turn, so he go. Oh, he has to go. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, he yeah. ghost forms the quadricorder, but this... By not cycling last turn, I think the game is pretty... Well, City State could maybe bail you out of this, but I think the game is over. It's over. I knew he had regrowth still. Yeah, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Yep, yep. He should have, yeah. No, he should have. he should have cycled, I think. But that was that's just rough. I mean, that's did he never draw city state? Because I still think like had that one turn, then just capture all his crap. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I would have liked to have seen him cycle cards. I don't know if he had city state in hand. Um, yeah, but I think I think that was probably if he did, I think it was probably a mistake. I'm with you, um, because that would prevent Gizmo from going off. That would have been a major, major, major swing. Um, but all right, you so know, we're going to end this call. Call them and answer. Do okay. a little talk. Alright. Hello. Hey. Yo. Stay with us? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Alright. Yes, I hear both of you. Uh sounds like y'all hear us. Great games to the both of you. Um wow. Ooh. What do you want to ask about first, Eric? That last game had a lot yeah, of really Yeah, let me ask. So, Ed, at the end of that last game, was City State before when you had the turn with four Star Alliance creatures and Pompidus on board? Did you have access to City State, or was it buried in deck? In deck. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, there the you go. I mean, then I don't know what you do there. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, yeah. That's so that's gross. At that point, right? uh, I think it was like. I, don't know, I think, I think it, was it was seven four. at that point. I back, but yeah. I was staring at it for a while. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those like if he has city state right now, like Dave just doesn't ever forge another. Key. Like it's. Uh, I could have forged a key, but oh, it couldn't, been, I wouldn't uh, have been two keys in one turn though. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um. The. So did you see the line? Were, were you leading up into the line for the nature's call? Ancient Bear into the Eddy on his third Eddy the whole time, or is that just something you saw on that turn, Dave? Uh, so my opening hand had Nature's Call in it. I mulliganed it, and then I immediately drew Nature's Call again. So that was in my hand for a while, and I was, I was of course, saving it for Ghost form. But uh, in that scenario, uh, all the other Eddies were gone, so I figured just bouncing the Taunters and fighting into it would have been good enough there. Yeah, because we were talking about ways you could possibly get past the Taunt. And into the eddy, um, not fully appreciating the regrowth option on the bear. Um, and then when you did that, like that was that was probably the uh, most pivotal swing in the game because after that it was just really close as far as who was going to draw the right cards at the right moment. 
Yeah, the uh, the problem with creatures is just not a ton of board control, so a lot of times you do have to use like speech sigil bear to like pop mm -hmm. a ward and kill something. Which is interesting because of the way the two regrowths work. That's always like that's almost always there for you. So that's yeah. that's kind of cool. I didn't see that the first time we saw you. Like I think I've seen you play three times now, and I never. Yeah, really I saw... think the last time. Um, I meant to play bear first, but I uh, messed up and played the. Oh yeah, first. You, you actually said it in chat. And yeah. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, so that yeah. would have been a, a, an opportune time to do it, but uh, I misclicked, and then I was like, oh whatever, I'll just make amber with hunting, which I guess. Yeah. Are uh, Eric other questions for either? So, um, Dave, is it accurate? Did you ran did you randomize your ban, or did you say that you randomized your ban? It's a random.org, and I uh, went I have one the through three, <laughs> and then, uh, had the tabs up. Uh, the tabs were, I think, uh, If you tell, I Jason, believe you. If you tell me you randomize your band, I believe but I think that that's funny. That yeah. Ended up with well, the so, same, basically, ended up with the same band. Was, the first time, um, I assumed that Ugg Luck was going to ban Caruso, uh, which is the wrong band in this matchup, uh, and that if that's the band, then I just ban Jason, right? Uh, but if he bans uh, Leader, which I think is the right band, um, then it's unclear what the correct ban is. It might be Panda. I think ultimately I'm still going to be able to beat uh, the Ghost Form deck twice, but um, I wasn't sure. Uh, so I yeah, I randomized it. So Ed, let me ask you. I was I was saying at the top of cast that I, I thought you were banning the same deck because I was apparently asleep this week when we were discussing it. What what was yeah. the logic behind changing your ban? Yeah. Uh, last week. Uh, I didn't test against Caruso, and uh, in my head, Caruso was the, the god tier deck and unbeatable, so I didn't even bother practice against it. Uh, this week, I took a different approach. I actually tried the matchups and realized it was beatable, so I turned my ban to uh, the MM deck. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes... I, I just, for some reason, I remember that incorrectly. Um, but, yeah, no, that that's... And I think it sounded like Dave agreed that that's the deck he would have banned if he were you. So, mm -hmm. um, so I will say this though: watching you play, I mean, I, I know Jason's going to tell you this too, but watching you play Panda, uh, your approach to Panda uh, was much better. Obviously, it ended up better, but it was much better this game than it was um, than it was the first time you guys played because you, you well, you, Otto Encoder turn one helps. Uh, you know, well, I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. It doesn't, that doesn't hurt, about, right? I was about to say, like, I don't think you even drew it last week. So. Jericho yeah. into auto encoder turn one is well, it's I mean, an part okay of that is, start uh, to the game. You made better use of routine, uh, not routine job, uh, reverse time uh, this time. Oh, yeah. Whereas before, because that's reverse time is like a really difficult card to play. Like, um, you see people who are like really good at key forge, like Dunkoro, play it wrong all the time. And it's just like one of those cards <laughs> that you got to get it like. It's firing know. shots. <laughs> Wait, it's it, just. It's just one of those cards. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking back to, you know, back when Keyforge was in paper, you know? Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Dave. I, I don't think such a time existed. The, those are the I'm before, almost fully vaccinated. Those are the before times. Well, I, you, I think actually fully, that's, full, I'm that's... I'm fully there. Brilliant. I am also, as, as of my two weeks ends actually tomorrow. So as of tomorrow... Nice. I'm fully vaccinated. I know. You wanna, Z. you wanna drive to California and do Dark Tidings pre-release? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, Ed, Ed, unfortunately, I, I, might, I might end up doing that. Go. Ed has the US, misfortune. USC pre-release in USA is late May, right? I'm getting yeah. Dark Tidings. Yeah, it tomorrow. might be. It might be Christmas. Honestly. Yeah, Ed. So Ed, Ed, so Ed, Ed is Ed is the, the the both sides of the coin. So Ed lives in Canada, and this is one of the first times I've ever said this in the last five years. But like, Ed is the misfortune currently of living in Canada. Um, because they do not have as quick a vaccine rollout at the moment as we do. But he's getting dark tidings tomorrow, so, you know, six and one half yeah. to the other. Yeah. We have our priorities right. That's right. That's right. The priorities right. The, re the release of card games versus vaccines. Yep. All right. Well, let's wrap this up. Thank you for participating in the KFPL. Good look. I believe you've already locked up season three. Yes, spot, that is right? that is so, both of them. Both of these players have now advanced. Yeah, Ugluk uh, won I, I should I should drop that uh, invite uh, at some point. <laughs> Ed is oh, a crazy yeah. that, person. That might happen. Can't continue to be the mad lad without like this. This was your opportunity today to, to get invite number two. Um, I know, I know. 
Um, but all right, and Dave, you have now made it into season three. Uh, you will progress on to face Alex Shepelov from SAS. So it'll be another. SAS Gotta get all the hard first. stuff out of the way first. I, okay, so okay, y'all didn't hear us. <laughs> it is cast, probably like, one of the I, harder draws. Like Alex's option is like, is there any way that both of you could lose? Um, and I was like, no. <laughs> like it's. I was looking at the bracket. I mean, like everybody's good, but I'm like, fuck, these first two rounds are gonna be hard. Yeah, it's 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 pretty rough um, the whole way through. There's no there's no area where I'd be like, oh, I want this spot. It's just okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, some are harder than others. So. Yeah, yeah. So for for anyone watching, I think we're gonna we're we're doing a Grant versus uh, mm-hmm. unarmed goat at eight. I, I'm gonna say Z go online. We'll go live. What about like seven fifty? Does that sound good? Uh, let's do seven forty five. Seven forty five. Okay. Eight. 15 minute so we break. Got a 15, we got a 15 minute break. Uh, get some food and we'll come back then. But both both you guys in the chat, very good match. Very close games. Obviously, very some very high level play there. Um, and, you know, Keyforge, Keyforge going to Keyforge. And, uh, uh, yeah. I just want to say uh, thanks to uh, Z and Jupiter for organizing and uh, good luck today for the rest of the event. Oh, thank you. Yes, also, yes, thanks guys for running and also casting this. Uh, sp- been a lot of fun so far and i actually can't wait to watch the next round it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be some, gonna be some good stuff this and evening yes thank we all thank justice blinded eric for helping us out this week lots of games casted this week we have stuff going on not tomorrow oddly but we have two more on saturday and then the final two of the week on sunday and then right after that uh 1 p.m eastern match on sunday we will do the week recap and talk about the top 16 that's right. All right. So for everyone else, we'll be back in uh, 15 minutes. To you guys, yep. thanks again. Thanks, Z. And we'll see you soon. See you. Bye.